Who's a good boy? Uh, You're a good boy. Meet Prancer. He's a two-year-old 13-pound Chihuahua mutt who loves cuddles, wearing clothes, and lots of comfort from his mom, Ariel, who adopted him about two weeks ago. He's just the sweetest little man. I love him so much. Hi. But even the sweetest dreams can turn into nightmares sometimes. Just ask the foster mom who was taking care of Prancer before Ariel and wrote this six-paragraph plea on Facebook to get him adopted. Some of that reading, I have to believe there's someone out there for Prancer because I am tired and so is my family. Every day we live in the grips of the demonic chihuahua hellscape he has created in our home. The digital world instantly captivated by the pooch, also described as a haunted Victorian child in the body of a small dog. She took a humorous spin on it. She definitely exaggerated you know, his qualities kind of to bring attention to the fact that this poor little meatball just needed someone to love. The Facebook post raking up more than 50,000 reactions and 74,000 shares, thanks in part to those very poetic details. Prancer came to me obese, wearing a cashmere sweater with the bacon, egg and cheese stuffed in his crate with him. I should have known in that moment this dog would be a problem. He was owned by an elderly woman who treated him like a human and never socialized him. Sprinkle in a little genetic predisposition for being nervous and you've concocted a neurotic mess, aka Prancer. I uh, ran across the article and I normally don't take things on Facebook too terribly seriously, but I read the article and it really touched me. Um, he reminds me a lot of uh, the dog that I had about seven years ago. Prancer now getting acquainted to his new life in New Haven and Ariel learning more about her dog's quirks. One of Prancer's more interesting traits is the fact that he does not like men, as you can probably tell right here. <laughs> um, since coming to me, Prancer has been primarily around women and he has been a sweetheart. There has been one or two situations where he's encountered men and uh, it's a little spot on. He, uh, you know, he, he barks and growls and um, perfect timing. But Ariel also wants the world to know just how far Prancer has come with the help of his previous foster mom. She took the best care of him. He came to her overweight and barely able to breathe. And she worked with him to help him drop a couple pounds um, and, you know, really be able to live a positive life. That positive life now being shared on Prancer's very own Instagram page with more than 80,000 followers. He's got 93% of his 81,000 followers are all uh, are women and 6% are men. So uh, he's definitely a little woman lover. <laughs> That's right, thank you. And the ultimate hope is that each picture of Prancer curled up on the couch or flashing those big brown eyes reinforces an age-old lesson. He's just been a gem, really. He's a sweetheart, he's pretty. He's the best dog I've ever owned. Never judge a book by its cover or its bark. Hey. Yeah. Reporting in New Haven, Angelo Bavaro, Fox 61 News. Oh.